stark contrast to videos posted on social media showing Ashley Babbitt storming through a window in the U.S. Capitol before being shot dead by police. She was a military police officer <laughs> in the Air Force. Babbitt had been deployed to Afghanistan several times where she guarded prisons, according to her uncle. Someone who served her country and loved it and our democracy and ultimately gave her life for it. USA! The USA! family knew she was traveling to Washington, D.C. to march in support of President Trump. I knew she was going, had no concern she was going. She's been to a couple of the rallies before, didn't know it was going to escalate to what it did. On her Twitter account, Babbitt was not shy about her political beliefs. In this photo from September, she's wearing a QAnon We Are Q t-shirt. I grew up in Lakeside, man. In a video from 2018, she rails against politicians. What we do have is a massive amount of pissed off people like I am because you guys will not sit down and do your job. And one day before she was killed, she posted, nothing will stop us. They can try and try and try, but the storm is here and it is descending upon DC in less than 24 hours, dark to light. She's fanatical. She loves she loves her country. She loves the president. She was did everything she could to, you know, try and get President uh, Trump reelected. And I guess she thought she may influence the, whatever was happening in Washington that day. Now in the wake of her violent death, Babbitt is being called everything from a martyr to a domestic terrorist. I wish that we could all come down and figure out how to get along. And I wish she'd be remembered for someone who loved her country. Ashley Babbitt left the military three years ago. She married her husband last year. Together they owned a pool service company. The officer who shot her is on routine administrative leave pending an investigation. Marcella? David, we know that Ashley lived with her husband in Ocean Beach, and uh, we heard from her uncle, who has good memories of her. How is the rest of her family holding up? We spoke to several family members and they are heartbroken. Her grandfather, her parents, her four brothers, and her husband all live in San Diego County. All right, David, thank you.